Bang bang go up old gang, back with another video man. Today's video is an in-depth guide to cutting. I had a subscriber asked me to make a video about cutting, so here you go. Any other questions, comment down below and I'll make a video for you. So the overall goal of this guide to cutting is to reduce body fat and maintain or gain as much as possible. Yes, it's possible to gain muscle on a cut, so this is an in-depth guide on how to. Uh, first tip is to increase overall activity. It is for many reasons, but the most important reason to increase overall activity. I think my camera shit. You want to increase your overall activity because on a cut, it's very common to get a hormonal imbalance. You don't want a hormonal imbalance. Your body's gonna start to burn muscle, gain fat, all that bad stuff that we don't want. So. When you increase your overall activity, you could eat more calories. And when you eat more calories, you're going to be getting the essential macro micronutrients that your body needs. And when you're not getting this, you're getting a hormonal imbalance. So increase your overall activity. You won't have to cut as many calories. And let's get into the diet aspect. So first, macronutrient, protein. Uh, protein building block of muscle, as most of us probably know. And it'll help preserve muscle on a cut. And out of all the macronutrients, protein has the highest effect on satiety, it makes you feel satiated, aka makes you feel more full. So those two reasons alone should want to make you eat a ton of protein. And then during a cut, I would increase your protein to 1.5 to 2.5 times your body weight in pounds uh, for the two reasons I just stated. Now let's get into fat. You do not want a hormonal disruption messes everything up for the goals of the cut and the most common times to get hormonal disruption is during a cut and to decrease the chances of this happening you need to eat fats uh fats is central for balanced hormones and i would recommend at the bare bare minimum 30 to 40 grams during a cut i personally try to keep it at 60 to 70 grams during a cut but bare 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 minimum 30 to 40 grams um and whatever you got left over for calories, fill it up with carbs. Uh, I really don't, I don't believe in cutting out a macronutrient uh, during cutting or bulking or whatever. I always think a well-balanced diet always wins in the long run. And I have my notebook here so I don't forget anything. Um, I wrote, I prepared ahead of time just so I don't forget anything. Um, now let's get into how to track your progress. So. I would aim to lose about one pound per week, give or take. And I say give or take because if you're dealing with a really big person, um, you know, 250, 350, 400 pounds and up, um, they can lose more than a pound and they'll maintain their muscle. Where if you're dealing with a tiny person, small person, they, I would recommend them to lose a little less than a pound. So one pound, give or take and you start losing more than a pound, you're gonna start tapping into your muscle storage unless you're extremely, extremely overweight. So one pound, I would stick to one pound unless you're in one of those special conditions. Um, so to keep track of this, weigh yourself every morning, right when you wake up, after you go to the bathroom, and before you put anything in your body, water or food. So this is just so you get the most accurate uh, scale weigh-ins. You don't want, you know, if you eat food or drink water, then weigh yourself, it's going to be fluctuating. So right when you wake up, go, go take your morning bathroom break, whatever, get rid of the excess uh, feces and all that in your body. And then don't drink or eat anything, weigh yourself, write it down and do this every morning. And at the end of the week, compare or at the end of the week, get your average weigh in and then compare it to the week before. And then if you lost one pound, perfect. Uh, don't change anything. Now, if you gained a little weight, cut your calories. If you're losing more than a pound, then increase your calories. And don't make major increases or decreases in calories. I recommend with uh, progress stalls, I recommend 100 to fit, 150 to 300 um, calorie changes, if you know what I mean. Increase your calories by 150 to 300 calories or decrease it by that much uh, anything more i just don't recommend i recommend small changes and like i said how do you know if you increase or decrease your calories it's by the weighing scales if you're gaining too much weight not losing weight or if you're losing too much weight that's what determines to increase or decrease your calories let's get into training so i don't change my training 
at all during a cut. Um, I still train hard during a cut. I do not change it at all, but I still listen to my body. So my recommendation is don't change your training at all, but listen to your body. Uh, during a cut, you're naturally gonna have less energy. So if you're just feeling horrible that day, then don't go and train. Um, but obviously still push yourself and train hard. But yeah, me personally, I don't change a thing during my training, during a cut. Now, I wrote down a couple tips. So, tip number one is increase your water intake. Uh, water increases satiation, makes you feel more full. Uh, your muscles are made of, your muscles are 79% water. So, drink a lot of water uh, when you're dehydrated. You have less energy and less energy it messes everything up you're not going to be burning as many calories your workouts are going to be crappy so stay hydrated and a quick tip too is to replace your high calorie drinks with diet drinks uh if if you love your coke you don't have to cut out coke drink diet coke replace it with zero calorie diet coke um if you want i could go make an in-depth video i'm not gonna get into that now of diet drinks uh, i do not think they're bad and i could explain the science behind that why i know there's many arguments against it and i used to be on board that diet drinks are bad but my opinion has changed on that i could do another video about that if you want just comment down below um my next tip avoid bad cheat meals but satisfy your craving so how do you do this there are a million anabolic recipes online if you go and search for it. Uh, I even have an anabolic recipe playlist on my channel. I think I have like 10 videos in that playlist. But let's say you're craving ice cream, a milkshake, cookies, brownies, popcorn, whatever you're craving, there's a low calorie, high protein version out there. And all you have to do is look up the recipe. Uh, literally just search into YouTube anabolic recipes or low calorie, high protein recipes, and they'll show up for all your favorite foods. And they're pretty good. Um, next tip, get as much muscle as possible. Uh, during your bulk, just focus on gaining as much muscle as possible. More muscles, the more calories your body burns, and the more calories your body burns, the the more macro and micronutrients you can get, so less chance of a hormonal imbalance, and also the more muscles you have, the leaner you look at higher body fat percentages. Just look up a person with a ton of muscle at 15% body fat versus a person with no muscle at 15% body fat and they look completely different. Next step, caffeine. So do not drink caffeine after noon. Uh, caffeine messes up your sleep. You don't want that. And But caffeine does help make you feel more full. Again, you, you don't want to be feeling hungry during a cut. That's the worst feeling. So it helps you make... You feel more full and it gives the it gives your brain the illusion that you have more energy it doesn't actually give you energy there's a common misconception again i could go into the science in the, of that in another video but it makes you feel like you have more energy and with this you could burn more calories by moving around more and your workouts are going to be good and drinking black coffee zero calories next up replace your replace oil with a zero calorie cooking spray uh this is simple less calories and then my last tip and arguably the most important one is to sleep like a baby uh, there's a million benefits to sleeping good and getting enough and adequate amounts of sleep but the top two pertaining to cutting is when you sleep that's when your body repairs the damaged muscle from your workouts and it keeps balanced hormones and i already went into earlier in the video what happens when your hormones are all messed up and that's all for today's video um that really should have covered every everything with cutting if you have any other questions or want me to dive deeper into certain aspects or topics just comment down below i hope that answered your question bang bang guapo out